everybody. So it's a uh, cold salmon fishing season on the Veda River. Um, we're down here in the Veda Canal, and uh, Nina's already down there. I'm just getting my stuff ready, but it's the fishing has been not bad. So I thought we should do an episode about it today. Uh, bait fishing, float fishing a row, and uh, let's see how it goes. Wild. Let's see, raining. Yay! <laughs> Finally. It took us what, like an hour? No, oh, less than that. Mm -hmm. An hour? Yeah. We have an incoming tide right now, so the fish are, theoretically, the fish are moving up. So we start seeing fish being caught further downstream from us, and uh, I'm gonna go one right now. I need a bigger rock. You can see the adipose thing was clipped when this fish was a juvenile, one's about this big. So it's a, it's a healed scar on the top, and these are the only ones you can keep. And you know, this is a cold salmon, by telling, by looking at the spots on the back and a few spots on the top of the tail. Um, there are hatchery marked sockeye salmon in this river as well. Those you can't keep. So just make sure you actually identify the fish properly before you are dispatching it. So now the, the, the bite's really on now. So the, the tide is coming and sure enough, we got one, two, three, four fish on at the same time. And we have the very top of the run, so they're slowly making their way up. We're gonna get some more. So you can see downstream from me, there's quite a few fish on at the same time. Um, so most of the fish are still down there, but they, they should be here anytime uh, soon. We're kind of staying away from the people, just we're doing some filming. Um, two more on down here. It's kind of makes it a little stretch because. I know the fish are down there, um, but I was just hoping they'll be making their way up. The, the lower Veda River, especially the canal, is totally tidal influenced. Um, so when the tide comes in from the Fraser River, the river, the river level actually goes up a little bit. As well. um, so when that happens, the fish will move from the mouth of the Veda, from the Fraser, uh, all the way up. And uh, so this, I mean, <clears throat> it is kind of the first light fishery too but it's more of a tide fishery if you come down here. So definitely look at the tide table. Uh, so you look at the <clears throat> you look at the time, the tide schedule for Vancouver and add anywhere from three to six hours to it. And yeah. Float fishing the road today. Um, you can catch them with spoons as well, but this kind is a little too swift for spoon fishing right now. You put the camera back and fish. And then if you catch one, drag it back to the camera and... Yeah, yeah maybe you should do that. Uh, it, what what oh. was that, fish? Yeah. Okay, you better get back fishing. You think so? You know you're gonna get one as soon as you put the camera down.
Wow. Well, someone got to bring skin on the table, right? The bite went like, it didn't go down, it just kind of went like, like vibrated yeah. like yeah. that. So the bite's on, just not on my line. Uh, Nina's got two on board. This one's a little bigger than the other ones, but it's well, so you can see the adipose thing on the back. And uh, this one we have to release. So I'm keeping it in the water without dragging it up to the bank, just making sure it's fine. Um, hook should come up pretty easily. Huh, should come up, yeah, there you go. Barbara's hook. Okay, so we're gonna let it go. Okay. Oh, give me a nice shower there, but yeah, that was a, that was a good fight. It was a, Bit of fish, about six or seven pounds. And uh, yeah, let's get back to it. Here we are, just a little guy, but um, you can see how silver all these fish are right now.
Okay, so we got our limit. Um, the daily quota is four fish per day. Um, hatchery cold salmon. This fishery is unreal. I mean, every year the better hatchery cold fishery, it gets roughly you know tens of thousands of fish coming back, and this, so there's plenty of opportunities for you to keep really nice salmon to eat uh, with four fish per day. Uh, the daily quota that's very generous in my opinion. And you can see there's lots of people fishing behind us. Um, it gets a little crowded. But keep in mind, this is the closest river to Metro Vancouver, so um, it can get busy, but people are very civilized, in my opinion. Everyone's catching fish, everyone's enjoying themselves, so it's a great day, yeah. Um, this is gonna make uh, lots of great meals. We got lots of different recipes to show you guys on our YouTube channel as well. Uh, be sure to check them out. And uh, But yeah, I'm gonna get on with it, and I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this episode, and uh, subscribe to the YouTube channel. Until next time, good luck fishing. Mm -hmm.